What's up guys, welcome back. We made it through the first leg of the holidays and I'm sure you guys are ready for something quick, easy, and moderately healthy. So today I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious Tuscan chicken. This inexpensive recipe comes together in 30 minutes or less and it's absolutely packed with flavor. I'm sure you're gonna love it. But before we get into that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at these ingredients. Nice and simple today, plenty of veggies. Today we got some mushrooms, we got some spinach, we've got two chicken breasts that we're gonna butterfly into four equal portions. We've got some heavy cream, some sun-dried tomatoes. They're gonna take this flavor profile over the top. Some butter, cause butter makes everything better. Garlic, onion, a little lemon, and gotta have some grated Parmesan. All right, my friends, it's time to butterfly some chicken. This step is optional, guys. If you want a thicker piece of chicken, you can go ahead and use this, but I would suggest uh, pounding it out so that it's nice and even and flat. Uh, but for today, we're gonna go ahead and get four portions out of two chicken breasts. In order to do that, you wanna take a nice sharp knife and then just slice it kind of right down the middle like so. And we'll be effectively butterflying the chicken into two equal size pieces as equal as you can get don't get too crazy about it but just kind of use your knife and fold it over as you slice just like that nice and easy always protect your hands of course and then once you get it flat you can go ahead and cut it in half boom one and one. If it breaks a little bit right there, no big deal. We'll do the same with this breast. Get started and just kind of use your blade to butterfly it. All right, so while we have the chicken laid out perfectly, we're gonna go ahead and season this up with my Lemon Bay seasoning. If you haven't tried that yet, grab it via the link in the description box while supplies last, and my all-purpose. It's a nice, even application of both of those. If you don't have either of these guys, just use whatever your favorite all-purpose seasoning is. You'd also hit this with a little lemon pepper or some Cajun seasoning. Really, whatever flavors you're into. Not gonna be you know, technically Tuscan flavors if you're using the Lemon Bay, but it's damn delicious, so no need to shy away from delicious flavors. Then we're gonna flip the chicken breast over and make sure we show the other side the same love and attention. Nice even application of AP or whatever your favorite poultry seasoning is. And then we're gonna to top it off with that lemon bay. Beautiful color on the lemon bay. There we go. All right, now it's time to prep our veggies. First thing we're gonna do is prep the onion. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and dice up some garlic. Two or three cloves of garlic will get the job done. If you don't feel like dicing up fresh garlic, you can use mints from the jar or my you know, garlic paste that I'm always using. Whatever you have on hand. The goal of this recipe is to be nice, quick, and easy for a weeknight dinner, but fresh is best, guys. So if you're feeling up to it, go ahead and dice yourself some fresh garlic. All right, so in a large skillet over medium heat, we're gonna add a little avocado oil, a tablespoon or two, just enough to coat the bottom of the skillet. We're gonna get a nice sear on the chicken, cook it about 75% of the way, remove it, and then we're gonna finish cooking it in the sauce. All right, so once that skillet gets nice and hot, we're gonna go in with our chicken breast. Always lay the meat away from you and press down for maximum surface area contact. And just give it about two, maybe two and a half minutes per side or until a nice golden brown color develops. Then we'll flip them over. All right, so after a couple minutes, we're gonna go ahead and flip the chicken. Should be nice and golden brown and beautiful like so. All 
All right, so once your chicken's just about done and got some beautiful color, we'll go ahead and remove it. As you can see, we got plenty of fawn in this skillet. We'll go ahead and turn the heat down. Chicken breast is done at an internal temperature of 165 degrees. We're just let that hang out on this plate here for a moment. All right, so in the meantime, we're gonna melt two tablespoons of butter. To that, we're gonna go ahead and add in our mushrooms. You wanna get the mushrooms started because they take the longest to cook. We wanna get some nice caramelization on the mushrooms, some good color. We're gonna work those over medium heat. So mushrooms almost act like a sponge. So they're gonna soak up all that butter and flavor. We're also gonna use some of the sun-dried tomato olive oil. A couple tablespoons of that. No flavor left behind, guys. Those mushrooms are gonna start to absorb that flavor as well. And they're gonna brown up nicely in this skillet. So once those mushrooms have got a nice head start, we're going in with our diced onion. Add that to the party. Give that a good mix. Let the onion cook down, get nice and tender. Then we'll add our garlic and sun-dried tomatoes. Next up, we're gonna add that garlic and the sun-dried tomatoes going in. We're gonna give that a mix, start to season a bit. Then we're gonna deglaze this skillet with some white wine. For those of you guys that don't wanna cook with wine, you can use chicken broth or vegetable broth, whatever you have laying around. Oh man, it's smelling good in here. Go ahead and season this up with a little salt and pepper or all-purpose seasoning. You can serve this over rice, mashed potatoes with pasta, cauliflower rice for my keto folks. Tons of different ways to serve this one up. So once the veggies are cooked down and nice and tender, we're going in with about a half cup of white wine. and just scrape the bottom of your skillet. Get up all that flavor off the bottom of the skillet. Now at this point, we're going in with one and a half cups of heavy cream. We're gonna bring that to a simmer, then add in the spinach, season to taste, add in the Parmesan, finish cooking that chicken. You got yourselves a quick and easy dinner in under 30 minutes. All right, so once that reaches a simmer, we're gonna go ahead and reduce the heat and go on with our grated Parmesan cheese. About a half cup. If you're feeling real frisky, a whole cup won't hurt you. Now we're gonna go ahead and season to taste. Same seasoning that we used on the chicken or just a little salt and pepper, guys, if you wanna keep it simple. Some Italian seasoning wouldn't hurt here either. We're also gonna hit it with just a pinch of chicken bouillon powder. Just to amplify that chicken flavor a little bit. Now once you have your sauce seasoned to perfection, we're gonna go ahead and add in our spinach for health. Give that a good mix until the spinach is wilted and combined. Then we'll add back in our chicken until it hits 165 degrees internal temperature. And we'll go ahead and plate this up. Then back goes our chicken. Any accumulated juices, we don't want that to go to waste either. And then just let that simmer for a few minutes until your chicken hits 165. And once that chicken hits 165 degrees internal temperature, it's time to plate this up. Today we're going over a bed of basmati rice, but feel free to plate this up with whatever your favorite side dish is. And this is the part where I say brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good. 
Add a little bit more sauce, because why the hell not? We're here for a good time, not a long time. And we're gonna hit it with a little extra freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Right over the top. All right, guys, the time has come for the moment of truth. I have found my fork and my knife. But before we dig in here for this taste test, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. Get a little bit of everything. Here we go.